this is Mass X with a new Bleach Immortal Souls video. And yes, we're gonna do a poll video with the brand new Aizen that was just released in his butterfly form. So let's get to it here real quickly. Uh, let's go ahead and take the free summons first. Hope everybody's had a good weekend. And I'll do the one with half off too, why not? We're all in on this one. All right, let's see, what do we got? 400 basically soul jades. So, let's summon away. I'm sure it's still the same crap they give us with everything else, but... It's what we've got right now until they decide to update it. Keep sending them your suggestions, everybody. Inundate them with those suggestions because they need to clean some stuff up on this game. Game of pass. Hit anniversary. Anniversary's been over for a few weeks. They gave us a minor announcement. And now let's let's start seeing you actually do some improvements to the game. Speaking of the game, I don't know if anybody watched that video I posted this somebody attacking my anniversary Aizen, I mean, excuse me, my anniversary Ichigo. The point I was going with that video was, and I want to do a feature video on it is, there's certain characters out there that have the ability to beat characters much stronger than them. Vasta Lorde is one of them. Christmas Orihime is one of them. There's about a handful of characters that can and what I have found is, and I know it's obvious, but I just don't see a lot of people doing it. If you're going to be up against somebody that is a known character that can beat much higher ranked characters, you know, we're talking 20, 30,000 plus higher, equip the character that's playing against them with something that's going to allow them to stun or silence or set somebody up against them that has that type of skill base built into them. I hardly ever have problems with Orihime anymore and I just load up. My team always has multiple skill sets or war souls that trigger a silence, a stun, a freeze. And you get a couple of those on her or someone else like Vasta Lorde and one on one. It's over for them because they do rely on their skill set. That's what makes them so good. I'm not sure if anybody else has really noticed this in the game, but really skill based characters are in general the best characters because they're the most well-rounded. Don't get me wrong, there's attackers that are great, and there's defenders that are great. But, you can go all... With a skill set character, a well-built one, and one of the higher end ones that are good. They can be put in most situations and do pretty well. I know they're at a disadvantage against... Attack based. But... Sorry, I keep pausing. I'm watching what comes up on my screen. Um, but a lot of the skill set characters self heal, which works well against attack based characters. But they usually don't hold up in the long run. They gotta kill you much quicker. So that's why you can get away with a lot of times a skill based against an attack character. Especially the higher end ones. Alright, where are we at now? I haven't been paying attention. I'm sure we have a long way to go. 400 jades is a lot. And by the way, once I finish this poll video, I'll do a quick build. We'll look through, make sure nothing's changed with the character. And then I will do a, a 5 star build video tomorrow. And then I'll follow that up. 
in a few days after testing at five star for you guys with hopefully a seven star I do want to thank everybody for their support. It's been great. I just finished my War Soul tier list, but I'm going to accompany it with a split screen. So you'll have the War Soul tier list, as well as recommendations for who they should go on. I've gotten a lot of requests for that, so I've spent a lot of time. I took a survey from our server. And I've been putting that together. So it looks like about 13 more poles from the Jades at least. I always like getting soldiers back. That's about the one thing I do like. That Nami shards. Alright, 10 more pulls we got here out of the 400. I've been saving up. I've been hoarding resources for a couple weeks now. I anticipate after this we'll get another soul box. So I can take another break. But I'm really close on the amount of Omni Shards I need to get from 6 to 7, so I'm really hoping I can get enough to get me there. So I don't have to spend anything to get him from 6 to 7. Jesus. 1, 2, 3, 4. It's almost 600 Soul Jades from that one. I'll take that. That's almost as good as the rebate. I wish that would happen every time. Alright. One more after this, I think. Damn. Almost a thousand soul jades. Well, you know what? If they did up the soul jade drops, I'll take that any day of the week. Alright. So with that being said, oh, let's pick up our rewards. that they have done that I do like is the strength training and I've noticed a lot more people with the newer characters having five six and seven star characters because of the deal it is and it actually is a good deal if you really think about it because outside of the wake in essence you get everything else to level up your character so I give them credit for that one. I'm sure it's making them a lot of money, so I probably shouldn't be giving them credit because that's the point of it. All right, let's take a look here. Let's find them. There he is. All right, let's combine them. 
そろそろ私のちそろそろ私の力も理解してもらうとしよう This will be nice because it's going to help out the new Ichigo because he's going to get his bonds finally, which will be definitely nice to have. All right, let's take a look here. All right, let's take a look at his skill set, make sure nothing's changed. Mastery skill deals damage to a single enemy and grants eyes in one stack of butterfly wings. This attack has 15% increased crit chance and deals an additional 10% in crit damage. Butterfly wings. Each stack increases damage rate by 12% and rage recovery rate by 12%. Nice. Don't see any changes there. Rage skill deals damage to the enemy front row, plus additional damage equal to 15% of Aizen's attack multiplied by the number of stacks of butterfly wings on Aizen. Yeah, I like that. I remember that when I first read it five days ago. After his rage attack, Aizen gains two stacks of butterfly wings. This effect lasts until the end of battle and cannot be dispelled. Maximum of four stacks. Butterfly wings. Each stack increases damage rate by 12% and rage recovery rate by 12%. After weapon awakens, damage is greatly increased. The additional damage based on the stacks of butterfly wings is increased, and this attack dispels all buffs from enemy targets. God, I love that. Passive skill. At the beginning of battle, Aizen gains two stacks of butterfly wings to a maximum of four stacks. After accumulating four stacks of butterfly wings, Aizen gains 60% increased block pierce chance. Beautiful. When Aizen's HP falls below 40% for the first time during a battle, he will recover rage and HP for each stack of butterfly wings. Each stack increases the damage rate by 12 and rage recovery rate by 12. Okay. All right. Doesn't look like they changed anything. So that's good to know. All right. We'll go ahead and. Promote him to three stars, get the talent going. And with that being said, I will go ahead. You know what? Let's go ahead and just do him the five now. What the heck? Bear with me. I'm just going to go ahead and push him all the way up so you guys can see where he's at at five. I wish they had an increase button Sim similar to what you can do with weapons. It would be nice. Enhance. There we go, we got him to orange. We got him to the highest level I can right now. Let's go ahead and promote him to five, if I have enough. I do not. Ugh, all right. Well, let's change that in a second. I want everybody to be able to see what he's really clocking in at.
just go ahead and just get these all up and going. to get him to five star because I want to begin testing him for everybody at least we got the rebate so that's a good thing I wish we had that glitch we had, what was that, about four months ago? I think they were dropping ten shards instead of five. I can't remember who that was. Was it Hollabell? I don't know, but it was wonderful. And the fact that they couldn't rewind it back was even better. Some more of those soul jade drops, darn it. Be really so nice to get in there one of those 598s or whatever it was. drops I got before because it's barely coming this time around. Oh, there we go. Alright, get back to him. Character. Mr. Eisen. Where are you? Representation. I won't put a war soul on him or anything else at this moment. So, as you can see, okay, let's go ahead and uh, do it to 64 like I normally do out of the gate. That's where I like to test that. got him it all right so he's got no war soul on him he's five star he's level 95 because that's where I'm at his skills are put up as well as weapons only are at uh, 64 across the board he's clocking in just shy of 85,000 so, so. He's got all of his bonds, so we're good there, so that's not going to hold him back. And let's see what his info looks like out of the gate. Crit chance, look at that. 37.9% crit chance I'm getting with him without anything on him at this point. We've got crit strength of 17%, not bad. Block pierce is right there at about 20%. Effect accuracy, 15%. Damage reduction rate 17.4. 
Now again, some of this is skewed a little bit, of course, because marrying on where you're at with your heroic, heroic war souls and talents. But crit resistance, 27.9, not bad. Block chance, 15.8. Block strength, 2%. Effect reduction, plus 12. Damage rate, 36. Nice. So he does clock in very nicely at where he's at right now. So that's good. So there we go. That's what he looks like at five star without much else done to him. Um, what I will do now is I will go ahead and start testing him tomorrow at five star and put a video together for everybody so you guys can make an educated decision over these next couple of days if you want to get him or not. I have no doubt he's going to be a very good character. The question is how much do you want to put in on him? That's what everybody wants to know especially free-to-play players and what, and people that don't spend spend very little. Is he a character that I want to get to three, four stars? Am I just going to sit at him at two for now if he's not going to work with my team? Whatever the case is, I'm going to try to get that video as quick to you guys as possible so you guys can rate and make a decision on your own. With that being said, like and subscribe. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. Try my best here. Take care. See you again this week.